Well, it's nice to have you join us on the cafe. We will be sharing our recent catch up with uh, the very hilarious and very talented Peter Alexander soon. Now, though, most of us treasure those special memories with our grandparents. But sometimes the importance of that relationship can be forgotten or even ignored. Now, our coffee group today is talking about the role of grandparents in the modern family. Welcome back to the cafe, parenting advisor Jenny Hale, and joining us for the first time, author Janice Marriott. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Janice, let's start with you. You You've actually written a book about grandparents. I have. So what inspired that? Well, I've looked after my grandson since he was born, during the daytime, so his parents can work, which is a normal thing that people do these days. So I've experienced, you know, that love for the baby and the tiredness and sort of overcommitment that goes with it. And as have all my friends mm -hmm. experienced that. So I asked myself the question, what would we do in New Zealand without grandparents. We seem to have such a huge contribution that we make to family life in New Zealand. But we are right under the radar. There's no statistics about us in the census or whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought I will go out and get out of my own comfort zone, my own friends, and find out what other grandparents all around the country are doing. And you wrote a book about it. Now, Judy, yeah. what role do you think grandparents have in our modern families? I think it's just lovely to be in amongst it, uh, support, encourage, and really be as involved as you're allowed to be. Have a few boundaries as well. You've got a, your own life to, to live, but it's, it's such a joy, it's such a treat. We should talk about those a little bit later on. <laughs> but also, culture's different, don't they? Because I know that some cultures, the grandparents actually raise the mm. children, and that's quite normal. Mm. What did you find with your feedback when you went out of your sort of comfort zone and spoke to a whole lot of different grandparents, Janice? What was the feedback that they gave you about how they were treated as grandparents? Well... I don't think the issue for any of them was, was how they were treated. Um, the issue for them, it was more their love for their grandchildren do that they came feel, through. Do they feel valued? Yeah, they do, but that doesn't worry them. What, what they want is, you know, to be able to love their grandchildren. And uh, all of the huge diversity of people that I interviewed, um, it all came down to the same thing. The they all thing. just loved their grandchildren. And I think some of them were sort of astonished at that love that they felt, you know, because like you don't plan to become a grandparent, do you? It's the one thing in life you can't plan, you have no control over. And so it, you're unprepared for this amazing the bond. Amount of love that you feel. Yeah. yeah. Judy, do you think it's okay for grandparents to have different sets of rules in their house for the grandkids? Yeah, I think every family um, can have their own rules and I think we should respect whatever rules there are in another family. So if you go into a home, I think you should check out what does the family do in this one. And so when our kids come around with their grand, our grandchildren, they are very respectful of what that we do things a little bit differently and we would be the same in their home. And what about grandparenting from a distance? Your, all your grandchildren are all in Auckland, aren't they? In Auckland, yeah. yeah. So you're we, very lucky hey, that you've got them close. close. But what about when yeah. you do grandparent from a distance? What are some tips oh. that you can do? Look, in, in my book, I interviewed people <laughs> who, um, who Skype their grandparents, their grandchildren regularly. And honestly, there's this one woman in Wellington who makes these lovely little puppets. She's South African. Her grandchildren are in London and she makes tiny little African animals and she does these little puppet shows for the grandchildren. But then there's, there's this other couple, farmers in Canterbury, and they have breakfast every morning at 6am in bed while they're sharing the dinner that's going on across the world. You see, and this is the wonderful thing, <laughs> is that there's so many right. wonderful, mundane things that you can enjoy in everyday life now that you don't have to do, make too much of a big deal about when you're sharing on Skype and things. Thank you so much for joining us uh, as grandparents, and I'm sure that you spoil your grandchildren just as much as the next people <laughs> as well. Maybe Great maybe. advice and a wonderful catch-up as well.